Fairbank to Morell, Morell to Brearley and again Brearley looked round for support Griggs just a little bit late in getting there well, two opportunities in quick succession there for uh, Brearley to get the ball away but Griggs kicks through the chase is on into the in-goal area and Robinson <laughs> Elliot Wallace I think he's looking for some excuse but didn't give the ball any attention and Sean Robinson gets into the in-goal area first try for Halifax off a kick unfortunately on that occasion the chase was not good enough and Halifax scored four which has turned into six by Steve Tyra Spears drives it in York pushing towards the Halifax line ten metres away Jubb to Johnson, Johnson gets the short ball away to shouts a forward pass again it's Danny Washbrook who's clattered and Halifax are caught with Will Jubb oh well a double movement from Jubb says the referee Robinson going from a, a standing start and able to get up to uh, full speed Morell shows the ball and Salt and Stahl well tackled by Salter but Halifax edging close to that York line still with tackles in the bag as Morell gets it to Woodburn all oh. then puts a pass on to Brandon Moore and Robinson surely he's going to get in second well an easy walking for Robinson there a good kick from Brandon Moore and the York defence have been undone again on that side where Elliot Wallace is Well, it's obviously not too difficult for Tyra. Morell will kick through this time. It's come off a of York foot, so that'll be six more tackles. Leroy picks it up and goes for the line. So Halifax are given a second chance to attack that York try line. Morell moves it out wide. Halifax looking to sack players, but Tyra coming back inside off the drop off ball. And Tyra has got the try, it's been given the ball squirted out after it had been put down by Tyra who ran a perfect angle back on the inside one side to the other and Tyra adds on another two with a strong tackle, Johnson across the field, Robinson gets the pass away well there was almost another one there but uh, Salt and Salt might have been there to intercept that as Robinson puts the kick forward and Lewis Carr is held up over the line that's great work from uh, James Salt and Stahl. excellent work in defence Halifax mustering numbers in defence again five metres out from the line not the quickest of the play of the ball Robinson out to Johnston Johnston gets it to Baldwinson and Baldwinson tackled referee raises his hand to say it's the last one of this set as Johnston gets it away and Kynehall no double movement again Kynehall good pass from Ben Johnston but Kynehall denied referee in a good position well they had back to back sets again and Halifax have once again come up with the uh, defensive qualities of course Wood Bernal again draws the defence gets it to Morell Griggs gets it away Halifax charging towards the line well he's inside of the try line and this time it's York who are desperate in defence on the try line Morell to Keegan Hurst Keegan Hurst well able to stand for a long time in the tackle knocked over eventually Morell to Woodburn all out to oh Tyra and Robinson well he took a long time to make that decision Steve Tyra arguing with him Robinson was almost in for his hat trick again a lot closer range this time but the pass ruled forward we go charging forward again with Brearley up to the the uh, 
York 40 metre line, Morell drops it off for Sam Hewitt again trying to pirouette his way through the tackle Morell well Wallace is well there's indecision indecision and the indecision hasn't come up with a try but it's come up with a drop out under the pole Morell almost latching onto his own kick there almost midway through the second half up to the Halifax 40 Brandon Moore gives it to Keegan Hurst Hurst gets the pass away there's a, a risky one but it's gone away Tyra with Robinson outside him Robinson oh Robinson done pin his ears back gets it inside to Woodburn Hall and unselfishly Sean Robinson when he probably could have had a hat trick gets it inside to Woodburn Hall Tyler with three from three that one is not going to come round far enough to make four from four but 22 nil Brandon Moore always looking probing the York defence but this time they've uh, stopped him Falcock gets a pass to Morell Morell gets it to Griggs options on that far side oh bro Broughton racing down the wing, gets it back inside. Grick to will go in. 150th career try for Scott Grick. Well, he scored his first one in Halifax. He's just a, a bit of a kid, really. But uh, more mature, more experienced. So, more importantly on the inside of Jody Broughton break down that right hand side and Scott Griggs gets his 150th career try so there is a chance they could score Kevin Loray looks like he may have suffered an injury just having it tended to by the doctor and Clarkson is almost up to the Halifax line Chubb out to Robinson, Morell rushed out and uh, changed Robinson's mind there. The little kick through from Johnson and Kinehall has managed to score. So one of four German international rugby league playing brothers. Connor Robinson fails with a kick, which you don't see very often. With six and a half minutes to go. Colcott to Fleming who oh, I don't think was expecting that and has uh, probably made a few more yards than he expected from that uh, particular run Morell gives it to Brealet Brealy stretches out of one tackle stretches out of another tries to get the pass away referees wave play on and that might be a penalty will it Woodburn all taken out job making sure he goes down back to Wood Bernal puts the kick down the touchline again another perfectly measured kick and while the clock ticks down to the last 20 seconds neither side in any particular rush to get to the scrum Halifax found it a bit more difficult in the second half but they scored two tries to Woodburn Hall and Scott Griggs with his 150th career try Tyra only converting once and one try from Kynhorst and Halifax have certainly uh, lifted the spirits of their supporters as the Hooter sounds with a big victory and leaving at York side looking very tired and dejected after a well a poor performance I suppose the only uh, thing that York can come away with is the fact they haven't been nil this week but they have been well and truly beaten by Halifax side not only Halifax side who attacked well and threw the ball about every opportunity but defended really really well apart from that slip that let Kynost in which was a kick behind the defence 
when York tried to barge over the Halifax line, there was no way through. There were Halifax 100% effort in defence. Two league points and a confidence boosting win as they face unbeaten Lee Centurions at the Lee Sports Village next week. That will be a tough one. This is a tough one this afternoon, but Halifax have come through it with a win. Even in round three, the pinpointed as a much win match, and they've done that this afternoon at the Shea. Halifax 28, York City Knights 4.